How bad is it, man? Your wheel fell off. You can't run a plant without pay dirt, Jason. We need this running, period. I don't want to talk anymore. Now that Z plant and the hot mess are both running, each high volume wash plant will need a steady supply of pay dirt coming from the dig sites. Without two rock trucks, this is impossible. Well, how bad is it, man? We'll come and check it. Oh my God. That is the worst rim I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, dude. We had a wheel that came loose and just ate away at our openings. Uh, fully loaded truck, actually it was kind of overloaded. Yeah, really overloaded. All that weight and all that pressure is on them studs and she's not, she's not last year's model. So that metal was pretty fatigued and that's what caused this. You think you can fix it? It's, it's iffy. It's iffy we can put it back together. Sparky, you think you can weld that? It's pretty bad. It is bad, but we don't have a choice. Randini, can you work on the hub? Sparky, weld that thing. If you get to the point where you think, hey, this is a bad idea, call me. If not, bush fix this thing, get it on. We gotta be running pay with this truck, okay? Yeah. Okay, all right. I shouldn't be asking guys to be doing this, really. It's above and beyond what any mechanics are doing in Alaska right now, anywhere, okay? They're making things work that shouldn't work. I don't wanna talk anymore. What's going on? I don't like what I'm seeing. Dude, I don't like what I'm seeing either. But you this, know what, you can't run to, it. Listen, you can't run. run a plant without pay dirt, Jason. Look over there. You see any pay dirt? Where's the truck? Your wheel fell off. It literally fell off the truck. All the years I've been mining, and I've never seen a wheel fall off like that. We don't have the days for this. You knew this equipment has worn. We got to fix it as soon as it breaks. We finally got this plant working now, and now the pay's not here. It's running. It's washing dirt. There's no problems. Dude, we're asking them to do something with broken parts. We knew this season was a challenge. We knew that we had only so many days to make this work, and things are going to break every day. That truck needs to be fixed. He's not a miracle worker. He can only do so much. We need this running, period. I'll try. That's all we can do. Get it running. Dude, it's easy to walk up in here and, and try to point fingers like we're wasting time. It's like, dude, we're doing everything we can. We're working, all these guys, we're working over 100 hours a week. I know. It's like, dude, this plant sucks. This is not easy for us to do because it is dangerous. Stay clear of that thing. Clear. There you go. That'll make it easier to pick and put back on, too. She ain't falling on me, so. No, nope. I'll continue putting studs in. As insurance, we're gonna have to end up welding these lug nuts onto the wheel, because I'd hate to have this fall right into the pit, or even worse, fall onto somebody. And that's the last thing we want on this mine. This may be a challenge, but nonetheless, we gotta get her done, because we have no choice, and Todd is counting on us. While Sparky and Randy continue to struggle with the rock truck repairs. So much work has got to be done. We don't have a whole lot of time. Of course, we never have enough time. Jack and Jim have completed their wash of the big trommel mats and have called Todd and the team in for the results. What's going on? Well, we have a problem. We get 2.4 ounces per hundred out of the test trommel. Yeah. The big trommel, same material, we get less than a half ounce per hundred. I think we blew gold out. Yeah. Was that really the same material? It's exactly the same material. Same. Yeah. Same, yeah, same not, pit. It's not the material. It's not catching. 
I mean, we have to be losing it. It's not the dirt. It's got a lot of leaks and oh God. the sluice looked a little steep to me, but I just didn't think it was that bad, honestly. Makes me sick to see what we're losing. So we're losing like 80%. Oh yeah, yeah. easy. I don't want to run another yard through it until we no. fix whatever is going on. If you can fix it, fix it, but don't use it. That's yeah. crazy. We can't, we have to run it. We can't get the yardage through that test plant. We no. got to get that 80, 90 yards through it. So while it's down, we need to take a look at what's going on. That's sand. Yeah. That, all this should be going down the sluice. They'll make sure the water pressure is consistent and strong enough to break up clay deposits and move materials through the trauma. But their first order of business is to adjust the angle of the sluice to the right slope. Too shallow and bigger rocks will settle in the riffles, disrupting the flow. Too steep and the gold can rush out of the bottom. That sluice box is too steep. At level four foot, it should be eight inches down here. Yeah, that's 10. 10, so that's way off. That's uh, way too steep. Another problem, there's no water here. This pipe here goes 12 feet with no water hitting the material. The whole time, all these steel plates and stuff, they're in there breaking it up. Well, if you had water, that would help that concept to happen. That's why material makes it all the way out the end. Wherever they threw their tailings, there's a lot of gold. I could go pan their slurry yeah. and find gold. I will guarantee you that. I think we ought to get some of that material and you ought to pan it. No, you're right, Jack. There is pay where you're standing. Who? What are you seeing? Not good. There's some fines in there. Oh. Wow. That's what you call about a $25 gold pan, maybe $50 gold pan. We're seeing a lot of gold. Jeez, that's bad. Okay, dude, that's and good they're, light. They're, they're pouring it out in. That's what we thought. And this is going out. They've been hauling this stuff away in their tailings. We've got a big problem. Meanwhile, Randy and Sparky are still struggling with their bush fix to a badly damaged wheel on a rock truck. This truck's in non-operation, and unfortunately we can't haul pay in the meantime. Right now we're having issues putting in the wheel on this 400. It's hitting on something within the hub, but. Randy's bush fix solution is to have Chris bring the excavator and use the claw to stabilize and line up the wheel. He sure is better at this than I am. How's that look now? Oh, now it's there you lower. Go. We can put the teeth. Push on yeah, it? Yeah, just push on it, dude. Track in. You got to be parallel with this guy. That's it. Lower the jack, and then we're in it. Oh, good deal. I'm going to lower it. Beautiful. It's getting there. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> just went on. <laughs> Without you, that would be impossible. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I know Jason wants to run this thing, but I'm not going to run it like this. It's just stupid. We got gold pouring out six different areas, and the sluice isn't even catching it. So There's a million issues, but I feel like we should address the sluice first. This one looks steep as all heck, so it needs to be eight inches at this end. Yeah. This plant's frustrating. There's a lot of things that are wrong with it and we don't have time to fix all of them. So I'm trying to focus in on the ones that we can fix. Most importantly is the sluice, making sure all of the pay is actually getting down the sluice. I think we jack up the first sluice here, get it at eight inches. Okay. Bring that level, Thur. Just crank it. Crank it up, see if it'll go more. More, a little more. Are you tired? All right, let's measure it. Right about there. level right there. Yep, right? there you oh. go. Sparky's cutting off this last sluice here. Gonna only run two. We'll get rid of this one, divert water and material to those two. The big trommel sluice box has three channels. This means the water pumped through the box is spread over all three. By using a divider to cut off one of them, the pump water can more effectively push gold down into the mats and debris out of the way. This will be better for everything we're trying to achieve. Working at Sparky, Jim, my dad, my grandpa. Got some caulk. 
that's kind of the only thing that makes it worth it sometimes when everything else sucks. So thankfully I have Sparky here. He's gonna help do all the welding with me. We're ready to bang this out, dude. We're gonna keep a good attitude. We're gonna get this thing patched up and get it working as best we can. And we're gonna make a mad dash towards the end. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go ahead and fire the waters. Here it comes, Al. Here comes the water. I'm hoping the sluices are gonna actually catch gold now. Here it comes. These are way more even. You gotta have the material and the water combination even on all your sluice runs. So far, I like it, honestly. If you don't have the material and the water evened out on both your runs, the, the ripples aren't gonna work right and you're not gonna catch gold. Here we go, big trauma in action. better than it was. I like it. Here First comes it. Woo! He's dropping pay. The big drum is our hope for this season. Winter's coming really, really fast. This plane has to stay going and not stop. Woo! Woo! Dude, we're mining, brother. Can you believe it? We're actually mining. Pretty cool, huh? I don't know. I don't care to go mining and have another loss. We've already had a lot of those. No. So we need a win. Yeah, we're gonna win. Don't worry. Are you happy now that we're out here? I am happy because we're doing it together. Gold mining is not just a work thing. It's kind of a way of life. It's, it's something that you just do and you either yeah. enjoy it. Or you hate it. Or you hate it. I enjoy it. I started gold mining back in the 80s. I put everything on the line. I didn't make it. I still love it. Changed from gold fever to a way of life. And I'm going to keep doing it until <laughs> my number's up. Listen. There's the capabilities of making everybody wealthy. And that, that, yeah. that's a goal, is to help people and all these people. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. Well, I love you. OK. Love you, too. With only four weeks left in this season, the Hoffmans are still 235 ounces of gold away from their 600 ounce goal. In order to stay on track, they're going to have to have mined at least 47 ounces of gold this week. Oh, call it out. 10, 20, 30, 33, 35, 38. 42.95. Wow. Not bad. We're getting closer. Yeah. yeah. Not bad at all. Dude, I like it. We've never had that before. <laughs> we've never been on ground that has gold like this, and I think this is what we've all been waiting for. So I don't know about you guys, but this is ground worth being here for. The Hoffman team has made a leap forward, but are still below the weekly target. To reach a million dollars for the full season, they'll need to average 48 ounces per week for the next four weeks. You follow the train? Yep. What's it like? The gravels and everything here are different. It is different than anything that we've mined before. Um, so there's a learning curve to all of us, but I think we're all starting to get in the groove a little bit.